New York, the most dazzling torch on the so-called Western, lighthouse country. Under the glamour, full of scars and scars. There are 8.4 million people living here. And at least 2 million mice. It is the largest mouse colony in the United States and even the world. Maybe not one of them. How rampant are the mice in New York? Today, take a walk on the streets of Chengdu. Wearing your sleeve is the lover's hand. But if it were in Manhattan, New York, but there may be mice running into your pocket. Brown mouse. Body length 40 to 50 centimeters. Weighing over 1 kilogram. The skull can change shape with compression. Can drill into a hole the size of a coin. Vertical bounce height 91 centimeters. More than 5 kilometers away. NBA players playing for the Nets. Durant's physical testing data. As today's New York City hegemon, the territory of the brown mouse half a century ago was not as large as it is now. At that time, brown mice were lurking underground, formed a trench gang with subway stations as their sphere of influence. And the opponent at that time, black mouse, lightweight and flexible, likes climbing high, formed the roof panel. Due to the complex terrain of subway stations, there is overlap in the scope of activities. There is constant friction between both sides. Gully helped brown mice with body size advantages through a decades-long attack assassination. Finally, at the beginning of the century, completely seizing the territory of Black Mouse, the scope of activities has already exceeded the trench, in the park, street, even on subway passengers. The brown mice come with pleasure, to soar and leave. As a mouse, eating too many capitalist sugar-coated donuts. The rat-like nature of brown mice is also quietly mutating. 2014, a New York scientist who suffered from rodent infestation has published a paper, we can take a glimpse from it, the sphere of influence of the vast population of brown mice. This is based on over 40,000 copies received by the New York City Department of Health. The distribution map drawn from the mouse sighting report. The red dot represents a mouse sighting report. The blue line represents the subway line. The yellow area represents public entertainment venues. Leaving aside complex statistical calculations for now, an intuitive feeling is that New York has fallen. Behind the fall, there are also rules to follow. Draw a heat map of the activity area of the brown mouse. Distance from subway station, comparison of population and other factors. Then a preliminary conclusion can be drawn. The closer to the subway station, an area with more people, the more brown mice there are, the more. The entire model is actually conditional. Autoregressive Poisson model. Every 10 meters increase in distance from the subway station, the sighting reports of brown mice will decrease by 4%. For every 1 meter increase in distance from public places, the sighting reports of brown mice will decrease by 6%. The brown mouse sat on the iron throne of the rat kingdom, becoming a flowing landscape on the streets of New York. All of this is not easily obtainable. In the long process of industrialization and urbanization in New York, blood and filth flowing from the pores of capital, exploiting the surplus value of the lower class people. It also poses a challenge to the survival of brown mice. Silence, silence, not mutating in silence. To perish in silence. 2020. The whole genome sequencing study of New York brown mice showed that, in the never-ending steel torrent of capital, the brown mice have genetically modified themselves. How was this achieved? From the late 19th century to the end of the 20th century. For humans, it's just five generations of time. For brown mice. But it's a mouse born for 500 generations. The primary crisis brought about by the third technological revolution during this period is, human beings invented rat poison, exterminate rat spirit, first-generation anticoagulant rodent drugs, the main component is benzylacetone coumarin, can cause prothrombin to lose function. In New York in the 1950s, the rat-killing spirit has caused a huge impact on the survival of brown mice. Life has closed a door for the brown mouse. And the key to opening this door, it's selective clearing. Its core meaning is, if a mutation in the genome is beneficial for survival, so its frequency of appearance in the population will increase. The nucleotide fragments surrounding this mutation, diversity may also be lost due to the free riding effect, becoming a fixed team. Simply put, this is a set of gene patch upgrades tailored to environmental selection pressure. By virtue of genetic variation, brown mice in the nervous system, metabolic system, in terms of motor function, all have made adaptive changes to New York. Mutations in the CYP2D gene enable brown mice to develop resistance to rodenticide. Mutations in the AHR gene adapted the brown rat to the Hudson River. Water quality contaminated by polychlorinated biphenyls in industrial wastewater. Upgrade of athletic ability enable brown mice to fully retreat from high-altitude falls. It is also possible to step on the water in the underground accumulated water for three consecutive days. A longer nose to adapt to cold climates. Shorter upper molars to match the dietary habits of New Yorkers. 
Behind the brown rat's steady progress, it's the continuous decline of New York City management. Starting from 1995, civil organizations are beginning to adopt dogs as an aid in capturing brown mice. 2003, a fire station in the Queens area of Spider-Man's hometown. Due to severe rodent damage, it had to be demolished and rebuilt. 2010, the New York City government once cut $1.5 million in rodent control funding. To alleviate a fiscal deficit of up to $2 billion, the result of giving up resistance is annual reports of up to 100 brown rat bites on residents, and this may just be the tip of the iceberg of actual numbers. Brown mice use saliva, urine, and feces. A large number of pathogens spreading, it may also cause rat bite fever. Severe infectious diseases such as viral hemorrhagic fever, Due to the high overlap between the territory of brown mice and drug addicts, this leads to drug addicts in New York, up to 47.5% of the population, infected with Bartonella carried by brown mice. By comparison, adverse reactions such as allergies caused by mouse hair and excreta, it doesn't seem worth mentioning, a dirty, messy, and poor environment, inefficient municipal management, the New York rat that gave birth to, along with the fleas that reside on them, lice and mites. It has also become an image annotation behind the glamour of capital. Nowadays, American brown mice that have undergone genetic mutations, living a pampered life, strolling around in a dignified manner, seems completely forgotten. Weakness and ignorance are not obstacles to survival. Arrogance is what it is.